How can art projects lead to a creative career? If people love something enough, they'll want to own it, I think. And what I've seen through the gallery that I have is that some people's passion projects can become commercial, and that's exciting. And so I'm now in a place where I'm encouraging people to take side projects and turn them into things that actually make money. And I make it my task to actually help it make money. And so I think art projects um, or, or passion projects, things that you're excited about, are, are things that in some way deserve to be looked at. Tumblr and Etsy, these two places where handmade goods are and, and things people create are being showcased in a highly social environment are, are becoming things that can become businesses. And I, I, I'm excited for that. I mean, I'm excited that um, you know, the, the community at large is deciding you know, what is valuable. It's no longer these kind of uh, you know, giant retailers making decisions. I mean, there are these new giant retailers like the Amazons, but they're, they seem to be in a lot way um, more meritocratical. In, in the sense that they they are excited for new ideas and they don't create barriers for new people to sell things. I mean, Square is a platform. You know, you could you could sign up for Square, make some paintings, and put them on. You know, like go to a flea market and you're accepting credit cards. You know, it's it's uh, so much easier to transform uh, an idea that you have into something that um, can become commercial and I think the barriers are only going to diminish, and I'm really excited for it. I'm excited to see, you know, what happens with our world, um, and to be a part of it, to be encouraging it. Um, but yeah, I would say take your art project and, and try to turn it into something. Um, I also don't like the idea of students being called students. I hate that. Like a student is just another person. People call students students and they treat them a certain way. It's like, okay, so you graduate and you pay to get this piece of paper. Now you're, no. Like at 18, you can vote. You're an adult. Can we treat students like adults? And can we call them adults that are just <laughs> intended to be educated? Um, and I, I try to, you know, I think there's this, it's, it's, I guess it's important to have the opportunity inside an education environment to fail and experiment. And I think maybe that's why the label exists. I'm learning. Um, but I do think that students are capable of professional work, and I think that they, um, I'm seeing it, they are achieving it, and they're doing it um, at the same level as, as professionals. And so can, can we not call them people? I don't know. That's what I want, students to be called people, at least the ones that are in college.